What's up, everybody? Philip the Titan here from the grandstands. I was on Instagram and F1 posted a post from a circuit Paul Ricard, and it was uh, Team Renault. And what do they have on their car? They had the 18 inch wheels for 2021's rule change. Well, for more than two years, Formula One has been preparing a radical rule change in, uh, for 2021, aimed at making the racing much closer so the battles were more aggressive. Um, we kind of saw that at Monza with Hamilton and uh, Leclerc, which Hamilton did not like, and he's been posting uh, pouting little things on Instagram. It's kind of funny to watch, actually. But, uh, yeah, he's not going to like 2021 if he doesn't like close racing. Yeah, so we go ahead, and uh, I am looking at Instagram, and I'm like, wait a minute. Those are the 18-inch, so I look more into it, and this is what they had to say. First look at an F1 car wearing Pirelli's Motorsports 18-inch tires which are due to make their way to F1 in 2021. Any thoughts? So head over to Instagram if you guys want to leave any thoughts on there. But uh, definitely leave some thoughts in the comments, guys. I want to hear your opinion because these rims are dope. I mean, they look freaking cool. They look aggressive, like a, an aggressive race car. And then they're they're actually functional. We're actually going to see them actually work. Um, I don't know too much about them, but I do know I'm excited for the way they look so far. Um, I know the rule changes are dedicated to making sure that it's competitive racing, and I think it's going to be. I think we're going to see all teams being competitive for once, since there's going to be more of a level playing field. But guys, leave me down in your com, leave down in the comments what you guys think of these rims. I think these rims are freaking cool. I think uh, the deep dish on the rear looks freaking evil. And then they're talking about putting uh, what do you call those things like uh, to block the air. Um, on the front rims kind of like Ferrari did in 2010 if they do that that's gonna look freaking awesome the exposed rear and the covered up front that's gonna look so freaking aggressive look at this car I mean there is no arrow at all I mean this is the future of F1 where it's shaping up to look aggressive and functional and I think uh, worth all the cars on a standardized aero package, I think we're going to kind of see some of the best racing we've ever seen in Formula One. So thank you, Liberty Media, for shaking up F1 for us. It was getting very stale. But guys, get in the comments. Let me know. Are these 18-inch wheels ugly? Do you guys hate them? Because if you guys do, I want to hear it in the comments. If you guys like them. I want to hear it into the comments. And if you guys are on Drive Tribe, uh, go ahead and follow me at Philip the Titan. I'm always posting uh, new videos and doing a lot of polls. I like to do a lot of polls and quizzes to see what people like. But guys, I feel the future is here, and I can't even wait for 2021 to start. I mean, the racing is going to be so freaking awesome. I'm actually thinking of flying down to some of the test zones when 2021 testing begins, just because I want to see these cars in person. But um, yeah, get in the comments. Leave your thoughts. I want to hear it. And why haven't you subscribed yet? Why are you wasting time? You already watched the video, so go subscribe. Subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and hit that bell because we're always posting stuff, and we're always around gaming, motorsports, um, or stupid iPhones coming out that are not even worth the money. Uh, we do everything, so join us because we are well-rounded and fun. But, guys, get in the comments now and leave, let us know. 18-inch wheels, good, bad, um, a waste of time. I'll catch you guys later from the grandstands. Felt the Titan here. Later.